Lee has begun to enjoy life at Blyney, although a fight with a local farmhand has badly unsettled him. Morgan has learnt that the estate will contest his proposed succession to the farm tenancy. What a wonderful time of year to have a party. Well, how could I know it was going to pee down like this? We should have put people off. What do we do with the food? Throw it away? This has cost a fortune. All right, all right. if you're going to. People are bound to be late. The roads must be swamped. It is very wet on the roads. <laughs> Everybody will turn up at the same time. Always the way. Considering the Morrises live just up the hill. But if they've got flooding, they've got flooding. How can they have flooding? We've got some flooding on the farm. Those are for the guests. Oh, Eileen, relax. You haven't been cutting up food for two hours. Well, you had young Sarah here to help you. There you are. I'll let you know when we want things in. Bring more nuts. Right. On with the knot. I hope it isn't your friendly local bank manager and his little bleating wife arriving first. I only hope he makes them. It's him we need to impress. I haven't seen you about for a while. Been busy. I rang a couple of times. Your uncle said you were working. Yeah, he told me. We're going to be having the slot for breakfast, dinner and tea. How's the tractor driving coming along? Thanks. A uh, small contribution? Oh, Tom. <laughs> Thank you. Go on through. Eileen, good evening. Tom, we were beginning to think February festivity was a dreadful mistake. Exactly the right time. Cheers all up. What can I get you? Scott, please. Uh, did that load of wood arrive? Oh, most grateful. You must let us know how much we owe you. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, do you know Richard Franklin and his wife? Bank manager. Mm. That's the chappy. They're coming over from Brecon. Oh, the main roads are fine. Yeah, now try that for... Waterproof. Thanks, cheers. You see, did you hear a car? Mm, I don't think <laughs> I did. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.
Of yours. Oh, June's fine. I don't think of her as particularly new now. Oh, you're just newlyweds compared to us. Well, I should be happy if we make out as well. How long is it now? Six months? Seven? Let's see, June, July, August. Eight months. June for June. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Hello. 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 Good evening. Nice Hello. 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 Right, <laughs> resuscitation on its way. We were saying we didn't hear a car. Oh, oh, don't mention cars. Why? What happened? Well, nothing happened. The car's dead. <laughs> it's been standing out during all this awful rain. Uh, Rigor mortis has set in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what will you drink? Oh, gin and tonic. Uh, whiskey, gin if I may. Right. Uh, where are your youngsters? Well, we thought we'd better leave them at the house. They weren't very keen on the idea of walking over. Uh, <laughs> long walk? Long enough. We've got a holiday home the other side of the common. Pant Bark. Oh, I told Matthew to put the coats in the cloakroom. Is the heater in there? Yes, of course. Good. There we are. Thank you. Resuscitation indeed. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Do you know Tom Duncan? He manages the Kydest estate. Uh, James Austin. Hello, how do you do? Yeah. And his better half, Mary. Uh, oh, definitely. <laughs> well, now, have a little nibble. Uh, that is a very racist suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get here? Cycle down. Dad's picking me up. We can give you a lift back anyway. No, thanks. Well, that's stuffed when we've got the Land Rover. They don't need the three of us, really. There'll be some clearing up to do. Do you like living here? Oh, I'm going to take something in. Might as well work. It's not much fun sitting around here. That was the Franklins. There's some ford they can't cross, seemingly. But uh, well, there's no ford between here and Brecon, surely? That is what they say. They send apologies. Well, never mind. Everyone that matters is here. Why don't we have something to eat, Eileen? Ah! Somebody doesn't mind reading. Oh, Eileen's got them well trained. <laughs> ah, what have you got? Do you know Pant Bar? It was a bar. Family called Reese used to have it. Mm, that's the one. Mm. It was in their family for generations. Oh, that does not astonish me. <laughs> you should have seen the state it was in when we took it over. It took us two years to get it right. Oh. We come down whenever we can. Holiday home? Yes, we live in London. Oh, Swiss Cottage, actually. Mm. James is one of those financial wizards who's got a hand around, who's something in the city. But we love the countryside. Mm. Oh, thank you. You uh, must live locally. No, Hereford. Estate manager sounds very nose to the soil, but actually it's more an office job. Oh, thanks. Mm. Yes, I come over to the estate a few days each week. Thank goodness. Here, let me top mm. you up. I don't know what we'd do without him. <laughs> thank you. Trying to get anything done around here is a nightmare. Oh, don't tell us. Never leave anything to the locals. It's the same the world over. Manana, Bakshisho, oh, the language may vary, but it's always the same. Thanks, Harry. I must say, we find the locals a bit soggy. Oh, it's the climate. Excuses, excuses. Look at Harry and me. We positively radiate Rhodesian sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> no point. I've got to explain. Explain what? You just froze. It wasn't like that. How was it then? You'll be a riot in those bloody paddies of yours. Just let me talk. We mustn't let them get away with it. We could... I can... No point. Where I come from, if a guy won't help his mate, he's not a mate. Mm. That was June. She's 
She's worried about water rising in the cellar or some such thing. I, I think duty calls. Oh, dear. Your wife? Yes, yeah, she's on her own, and the, the house is a good way from anywhere. I'd better go. No, no, I have one for the room. Thanks all the same, Harry. I mean, I'm sorry. Oh, I hope it's nothing serious. We know how people can fuss. Oh, what a shame. I'll have your coat brought in. Oh, please, no. I don't want to break up the party. Oh. you wanted me to work here with you. Why do you think I'm doing it? Have you been hearing things about me? What have you been hearing? Look, you don't want to believe everything you hear. There are vicious lots sometimes around here. Vicious is right. Why do you say that? Look, Lee, has somebody, has somebody done something? Hello? Oh, could one of you find my coat? And who are you? Nobody, just working. Not local with an accent like that. My uncle's got a farm here. Oh, which farm? Bliney. So you're the great white hope of Bliney. I've heard great things of you. How do you mean? Much experience. Sorry? In husbandry. Well, you, you've worked on farms before, presumably. You're too young for agricultural college. I'm not going to agricultural college. Well, what experience have you had, then? Who are you? I manage the estate your uncle rents his farm from. What's he been telling you? Forget it. Listening to Morgan, I've obviously got the wrong end of the stick. What's your name, please? Tom Duncan. What's yours? Don't matter. Lee Turner. I like Morgan. But he's not a realist. You know what I mean? Don't know what he's been saying. Morgan's pinning a lot of hopes on you, Lee Turner. But I imagine you must know that. I just think they have to anchor you down in a strong wind. Thanks. What happened to me? When? Oh, I don't know when. Last week sometime. You know what happened. You don't know what's happening at all. It got beaten up. And you know who by. Does that make you feel good? Now you know, just keep it to yourself. You've caused enough hassle between us, okay? Just don't tell him you know. When was this? The Sunday before last. You remember Sundays. Eileen, dear, thank you so much. Lovely party. Right, I'm sorry we're leaving. But it's a good party. We're getting right soaked again. Yeah. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Come and see us in London sometime. You've got the number. Do yes. <laughs> Will do. Sorry to be so soon, yeah. Harry. Oh, I'm glad you're able to look in. Love to June. Oh, and if you could send someone about that damp patch. What's it doing out there? Utter fiasco. Complete an utter fiasco. Shall I clear away, Mrs. Gregory? You can do what the hell you like, little girl. Come along in. What's your name? Sarah. Come on. Oh, go and get the boys. Bring a dish or two. There must be a pate mountain out there. Go along, Mr. Sarah. Now, don't take it out on them. They've done their best. They turned up. That phone call was blatant. And the Austins couldn't get their coats on fast enough. Oh, spilt milk, spilt milk. Well, that's right. Put it there. Go on. Tuck in. Get them a drink. 
What would you like? Just get them a drink, for God's sake. We don't need a public inquiry. Where's Matthew? He's gone to bed. I beg your pardon. He, uh, he went to bed. Well, what's up? If I'm paying him, he stays until I decide otherwise. Lee, you know Matthew's room. Go and tell him to come down. Yes, go on. Chop, chop. Lee will fetch him. You relax and take things easy. Fascinating. Tom Duncan comes. He's from Hereford, 40 miles away. The Austins walk here, and they're from London. Well, they didn't walk from London. You know what I mean. They manage to force themselves through our front door, but our neighbours can't walk a mile to us. And our bank manager invents some fatuous fable about being cut off by some water wall of biblical dimension. Well, what's so fascinating about it? It sounds extremely boring to me. Because the foreigners can make the effort. But as far as the salt of the earth locals are concerned, we can go to hell. But Sarah is not like that. How are you, Sarah? Come on. Come and sit down. She's being paid. If there'd been money involved, they'd have been bursting down the door. I don't care about the money, Mrs. Gregory. You just said you wanted some help. <laughs> Clever girl. Which of the two boys takes your fancy? The Lee boy, I suppose. I can't imagine any girl going rosy over our potential parachutist. I thought you'd finished with us. I had not. What about the kitchen? What about it? Everything's done. I had not finished with you. Matthew, help yourself to drink. Go on. And you, young man. Go on, help yourselves. Come along. Amuse us. You, get everyone another drink. You, amuse us. Let me entertain you. Come along. I remember when... Oh, no, not you. I've heard every damn thing you've ever done twice over. We want to be amused, not bored to death. Songs, recitations, charades. I don't think I'm very good at that sort of thing. Ah, the post telly generation. What are you good at, little girl? Thank you. What is she good at, Lee? Oh, of course, I was forgetting. You haven't been here for a rolling in the hay season yet, have you? <laughs> oh, God, you wicked old woman. Leave them alone. The moment that horny old hand starts slipping south, scream. So? Nobody's going to amuse the pensioners? We've had enough amusement for one evening. You found tonight amusing. Can we go, please? You can go when you've made us laugh. Come along. An e gum lad like you should do a mean George Formby. <laughs> I'm leaning on a lamppost at the corner of the street till a certain little lady comes by. Oh, me. Oh, my. And I hope the little lady comes by. Oh, she's absolutely beautiful and marvelous and wonderful and everyone. And I'm I'm going. You'll stay if I say so. You want to invest in a television set. You can be amused when you want without upsetting people. Three sour little virgins. What a crime, to have all that youth, energy, freedom. You make me sick, all of you. More drink, more food, anything you like. Bloody bank managers not coming anywhere.
should have run. I'd have come down to pick you up. Well, it's early yet. Ten or so. You said we'd be back by eleven. How's Pew coming up in the morning? Car? I expect. You want to get out of them wet clothes, boy? It's all gone wrong for me here, that's all. Come down, we'll get you dry in. Listen. It's all gone wrong for me. Not as far as I can tell. Oh, this last week... You've been quiet. Everybody get quiet sometime. What have you been doing tonight? Seeing to the old lady's room. Why? Keep it nice. Why? She'd want it. What did you tell Tom Duncan about me? When you went to see him last week? I said you were a good lad. A strong lad. Quick to learn. I saw him tonight. He spoke to me. Said you were pinning hopes on me. Did you tell him that? Damn, and I can't recall every word I said. I was in a fret, boy. So what you told me in this room on Sunday, it wasn't something you just suddenly thought of. You'd already said something like it to him. What you saying, boy? I'm going home tomorrow. Why for? I told you. It's gone wrong for me. Look at him. Oh, me. Look at my poor bloody hands. <laughs> oh, look at his, all soft and puffy like the TV ads. What's that then, mate? Where? Where are you, Pillock? That's an honest bloody blister, mate. Yeah, well, we all know what that's from. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> so it wasn't as bad as you make out. I know you. True. It were worse. Oh, like, come on. Boring. Really, what was it like? It's another world down there. It's all wrong this year with the job. Oh, it's on your back five minutes. Who do I hang about with all day now? It's a hard life, my son. Service. It's good to be back then. Yeah. Among your amazing friends. I'm totally amazing. Amaze us with a drink then. What is it then? Same again. I love pub crawls. <laughs> amazing. Oh, shut up. Please, same again. Uh, two pints of lager and a rum and coke. We've got a refugee from darkest Wales here dying of thirst. <laughs> You can't have the same, only similar. You what? It's what the bloke behind the bar used to say in Wales. We used to say what? Forget it. You're cracking up, Lee. I think you've come back only just in time, old mate. <laughs> yeah, I'll go and get a table. I'm not used to this, I tell you. Found Carol, did you? Yeah. Well, you can't blame her. I mean, you didn't even tell her how long you were going for. He's a right Burke, that Roger. No, he's not. I should know. I work with him. Well, Carol doesn't think he's a Burke. Oh, come on, Lee, drown your sorrows. Could care less. This is more like it. Should see the pubs down there. What, gloomy? Gloomy? Empty? You have to walk 100 miles to find one. We haven't been away that long. We knew you wouldn't take to it, me and Cole. Stands to reason. Carl! <laughs> anyway, it's finished now. That's right. The relief for Mafeking. What? Did be history. You're pissed. Why not? It's a celebration, isn't it? Here's to it, then. Right. 
Am I L? Here's to it. Here's to what? Whatever you want. Here's to She's a wonderful woman. Oh, <laughs> What's all this then? All this then is me. Yes, so. True. Come here. Still. Get off. Where on earth did you get this thing from? Hey, that's my drying up cloth. That's what it's doing, drying. Sorry. <laughs> Coffee? Definitely. What are you doing with those? Oh, I'm chucking them. I'm that anorak. Why? Because they're ruined like you are. You all right? More or less. Definitely. Alan sends hello. See you tomorrow. He's on an overnight. It's OK, then? Oh, it's fine. Phoned about half an hour ago. Great. You're both OK. You know. Oh, fine. Listen to that. Yeah. You glad to be home? New anorak, new jeans. And a new pair of trainers, too, if it'll run to it. I'll pay you back. I don't want paying back. Did Morgan pay you for uh, working? He wanted to. Now, do you think you could carry this upstairs without spilling it? Go on, up to bed. Mm. Crafty. <laughs> bed. At one level, it refers to a kind of landscape gardening. But if anything that Mr. Rushworth wants, like it... Welcome home from Alan. It's only black and white. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Fell off the back of a lorry like that radio over there. What happened at Blimey? Too much for a town boy, eh? Yes, yeah, something like that. Morgan phoned while you were down at the pub, just to see if he got back all right. We're OK for a bit, you know. Yeah. He's got this room. His mother's room. Your mother's room. I know. It's really weird. And people there. It's not just that they're different. Here you know where you stand. Okay, maybe it's not working out. And okay, you get a bad feeling about somebody, but you know the score. Back there, people change. Right in front of your eyes. Forget it, love. <sighs> yeah. Sleep well. I'm glad you like the telly. Yeah. Keep me in my room, will this? Alan cares more about you than you think. Hello? Oh, good as new. Thanks, love. Anything else you want fixed while I'm in the mood? No, thanks. Just the flex. All right.
He's very quiet in the house. Is Lee around? He's in his room. Oh. You didn't give him that portable just to keep him up there, did you? You have got a devious mind. Of course not. Happy? You happy? Mm. So far, so good. He must know we're sharing a room now. So? I was just wondering what he was thinking about it. He's been fine. Don't panic. I'm not panicking. He's grown up a bit. I said he would. I mean, on a farm, it's all sex, isn't it? Cows, pigs. <laughs> what? Can't you have a word with a boss? Oh, love, we've got a few off sick, right? But they'll be back within the week. Colin's father got Colin a job. That's a rotten blackmail. Go on. Have a word with Bob. Mm. That's another. Oh, don't you want your little secrets to come out, eh? Teenage hitchhikers flashing their long legs. Oh, I'll flash your long legs this weather. And the only lift you get will be straight into intensive care. <laughs> <laughs> he needs one thing, you know? Just one thing to give him a bit of a boost. Oh, love, what can I do? I don't know. All right, then. Take him on a trip with you for me, just to break the pattern. Thought I'd come down for some colour. Oh, right, yeah. Thought we'd never see you again. Thought we'd have to cut a trap in your door and poke your food through. <laughs> Do you fancy a snack, anybody? Wouldn't mind. Cheese and pickle sandwich? All right, Lee. Sounds OK. Alan's got something to ask you. Yeah? 7.30. On the dot. What? Tomorrow morning, twit. <laughs> That's the last one. What's your interest, then? Fairs, booze or football? And football. Follow Manchester City. Ah, oh, you poor little sod. But we've all got our crosses to bear. I watch Everton. When you walk in the door, hold your head up high. And don't be afraid of the club. At the end of the queue, there's a few bob for you. That will take you to Goodison Park. First day out of it. Educating Jersey. Hey, This is the passion wagon. If the back of this lorry could speak, the things it would tell you would turn your ears wrong way out. My mate Dave, who works with me normally, they're trying to get his ears right now. Sensitive lad is Dave. You say it's flu, but I know better. See that paperwork he carries round with him? That's paternity summoned us a lot. Say Galahad of the motorways is that man there. If a maiden's not in trouble when he finds her, she will be by the time he's gone. He's OK. Is it birds, booze or football, I asked him. I'm too old for football, he said. And I don't drink and drive. The bad beggar. <laughs> How is it then, Barry? All limp and wrinkled, you bad beggar. Where'd you pay us today? Glasgow. The Golden Road to Samarkand. This will put a bit of muscle on him, mate. His mother won't know him when I get him back tonight. No, Alan will, do you? He lives with us, my mother and me. Barry's an old joker. Don't believe what he says. Works like that. Gossip keeps them going. It turns them on. Little things, please, little minds. I'm not pretending I live like a monk before I met Val, but then again, she had your dad, didn't she? Fine, wonderful. I knew the facts of life when I was ten. OK, boys, away you go. Your father, Ken. I never knew the man. Don't want to speak ill of the man, but he never made your mother feel like a real woman. Do you know what I mean? How fast, Glasgow? I'll make your mother happy. Do you know what I'm talking about, making your mother happy? Yeah, yeah, bloody yeah. Are we going or not? Had a skinful last night, I hear. I saw Colin and his girl. That's what you need, a girl. Steady you down. What happened to that bird you used to knock around with? From the supermarket. 
cuddle. Yeah, that's right. What happened to her? Nothing. Just went away, that's all. Yeah, plenty more fish in the sea. Women are like that. They're insecure. A woman needs to feel part of a man or she feels shut out. That hurts them. I mean, Val couldn't be happier looking after the three of us. Making a special effort. It's a woman's thing. What do you think about it? Sing us off on the job together. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you another one of Barry's stories. This guy, he goes into a chemist shop, right? Has a look round for a male assistant, no luck. Just this frosty old cow behind the counter. So he goes up to him and he says, Young miss, a dozen packs of contraceptives, please. I've got a heavy night ahead. And she goes all women's liberal, whatever and says, young man, don't you dare miss me. All right, he says, make it 13. Eh? Hey? <laughs> you don't like women much, do you? What do you mean? Are you saying I'm a queer? Don't be thick, Alan. I wouldn't go calling people thick if I were you. I got my school exams, I got a good job. <coughs> Wonderful. I got money in the bank. Big deal. Right. Well, I wouldn't go calling people thick. Not in your position. All right, all right. You love women. You're God's gift to women. You don't give a toss what you say to upset others, do you? But if they ever go back at you, oh, look out, you squeal like hell. You are a mess, sunshine. Don't call me sunshine. When do we get old? When I get us there. You're pure 100% mother's boy, aren't you? Why do you hate me? I don't hate you. The hate's all in you. It's in your mind. You resent me. Yeah. You know as well as I do, because your mother and I... You keep dragging oh, it back you to Oh, you can't take it, can you? I thought you'd grown up a bit sent away to your uncle. Look, I pay my way in that house. I, know. I look out for Val and for you. Sure. Yeah, that's right, but you can't see past the bed, can you? Shut up, Alan. You, your father, your uncle, your soft sunshine, soft. No guts and no balls. Oh, that's it. Walk away. You're good at doing that, aren't you? Lee. He hasn't had an accident, has he? Come on, is this some sort of joke? Here we are. Just as fast as he can pull himself along the umbilical. Have you been drinking? Yes, I have been drinking. What happened? We parted company, Claire. I'm tired, Val. I've had enough. I was in two minds about coming back myself. Are you trying to tell me you've dumped him? He's not a child. He can look after himself. I thought he had a phone by now to get picked up. Picked up? From where? Carlisle could be. Penrith. Up 
about a couple then. You know where everything is. You want one? What did you mean about in two minds whether to come back? I'm just a simple guy, Val. I don't want no hassles or complications or agonizings. Do you think I do? I never drifted through life like he does. I've had my fair share of problems, but I never made my own life a misery. Or anybody else's. What did you think of the place where I was born? You yeah. are. I know you told Lee you thought it was wonderful, but what did you really think, eh? Right. I had a father whose every word was holy writ. He was ignorant about everything except how to bring animals alive and keep them living till he wanted them dead. He cared more about them than he did about me. Except that I might make very good breeding stock when it came to it. And I had a mother who wanted no hassles, no complications, no agonizings. So she let it be. There had to be a master. So she cooked, she worked, she cleaned, she brought me and Morgan up. She even taught herself to do accounts. But she learned to keep her eyes closed and her mouth shut. And I said to myself, there's got to be more to it than this. And I promised myself, if ever I had children, they would be free to do what they want. When I was Lee's age, I left home for a job anywhere. At my father's funeral, my mother told me that I'd broken his heart. So don't talk to me about lives made misery. If my son doesn't come up to your high and mighty standards, at least he's living his own life the way he wants. Don't blame him, blame me. You just don't know the alternative. Do you want to go? It's like I said, I... Do you want to go? Because you've got to understand. I've tried, Val. I oh, try them. harder. Give more, don't just take. You're a selfish bastard, Alan. And I'm an expert on that. I cut my teeth on being expected to give and be grateful. He hasn't even got a key. Oh, to go home. Thanks for coming. You scared the old man out too well. Late night phone calls mean trouble. What about your mum? What about him? Let him sweat. How many lives? Three. What bloody miles? I can believe that. This is great. I can stay around at your place tonight, can I? No problem. Thanks. There's two things about a man you should never criticise. His driving and his masculinity. Yeah. You OK? Yeah. Feet ache a bit. What do I do, Cole? Not now, next. Well, I do what you want to do. Got a big boy. Thanks, Col. Can't go back home. Of course you can. You got a problem with Alan. So what's new? Everywhere I go, I screw up. You don't. I do, I bloody All do. All right. Come on, smile. You look back on this one day and laugh. It's a laugh. A good laugh. <laughs> Come on, kid. at work. I suppose he's at work. Come on. I waited up till two. 
state we call him. Why didn't you phone? Why didn't you come home? What did he tell you? Oh, just that you'd had some sort of row. Then we had some sort of row, and he just sort of went. Don't know where he went. Sorry, I'm just tired. Look, he didn't mean it, love. He's not used to families. It's not his fault. So you stayed with Colin? Anyway, we'll manage to get over it, eh? What happened? It fell off the back of a lorry. Look, I, um, I'll leave you to take over down here. Make, um, I don't know, make, uh, I'll just go upstairs and dress, all right? Things just came to a head. I shouldn't have... Well, you know. She's okay. She... Go home tonight, Alan. Yeah. Yeah, well, maybe, I don't know. It's not that easy. Alan, just go home tonight. Pete, maybe we should talk or something. I mean, if it happens again, it won't... 